videos, but I did realize I haven't shown you a video of um, threading the machine. And the other thing to know about the bobbin is that, um, I don't know if you you have this kind of bobbin case in your current machine. Uh, I'm sure you have friends who do, but it's like this. There's a little little lever here that allows you to hold it. Of course, you don't want that lever up when you're putting the bobbin in, but when you put the bobbin in, the, the I'm going to grab the thread. The thread needs, to, when, it, when you pull it, the bobbin should turn clockwise. <laughs> ah! Like that. And then on the top of the bobbin, there's a little, let me see if you can see it, right there, a little slit. You bring the thread through that slit, up, and, I'm sorry, I went the wrong way. Through the slit, the slits, see, see the direction of the slit, go the direction of the slit, and then you'll bring it all the way through, and see that little uh, round indentation there? That's where the uh, thread is going to come out. So I'm going to uh, thread it and show it to you. Okay, there we go. Uh, see how the the thread is coming out, that little indentation, and I threaded it through that and it's going counterclockwise. Now when you put it in the case, you've got your little arm here, and that that helps hold the bobbin in while you go down there and you're going to feel the, you'll feel the little um, rod that it goes on, and there's a little spot for that arm. Let me show you the arm. The arm that sticks up pull it out again. Okay, this arm right here that sticks up, there's a spot for it. When you put the bobbin case and the bobbin on the rod or arm or whatever you'd call that thing, um, that little arm has a spot. You can just wiggle it around and it'll snap right into that spot. You'll want to leave uh, a tail, of course. Now, as far as threading the machine, very simple. Um, this is a the 5091s are one of the one of I think two singers that have the tension over on the side. But what you'll do is you'll bring your thread through this holder right here. Then you'll bring it. Now make sure your presser foot is up to so that these discs right here are open and the thread can go in. So your thread's going to go around those discs like that. Okay, am I doing this? Sorry, wrong way. <laughs> okay, really is easy when you're not filming. It goes to the back, around, up, and over that little arm there, and just through the spring. And you just see how I just went underneath and just pulled it up, pulls up very easily. Then you'll go to this holder right here. Why does this seem wrong? Oh, I forgot something. Then you go, oh, I'm such a bad teacher. I forgot the take-up lever. Then you go through the take-up lever. Maybe I should film these earlier in the morning. <laughs> through the take-up lever. Down through the side here. And then you're going to have, on this side, there's a little hook right there. Do you see that? And the hook, this uh, on all these vintage machines, this where, this last little place sort of gives you some information. Um, you thread going from where that hook is to the other side. So the needle's going to thread from the right to the left. I'm not going to have you watched me try and thread this. I, don't, I really don't have trouble threading it, but I don't have the light on right now. And I only have one hand. That makes it more difficult. And the other thing that it's going to do is tell you the direction that the flat side of your needle goes. So the flat side of your needle is going to go um, that way. 
it's, flat side is going to be on this side. So it's on the opposite side of where you ha put your thread. And you'll notice on um, new machines, most of the new machines, your final thing is right up front, and that's because the flat side of the needle goes to the rear, and you're, um, you're, you're threading it from the front to the back. Uh, most vintage machines are either going to thread from right to left or from left to right. So this one is right to left, pretty common with the Singer machines. That's all I can think of that you might need to know about the machine in order to enjoy it. Um, I'm going to try and keep this thread up here on it when uh, your husband picks it up, but it may fall off. Um, that may help you with the threading. All right? Bye.